Hello and welcome to another Cartographic Quick Tour for version 1.2. In this screencast, I will be talking about editing features in Cartographica. Uh, so to begin, we're just going to jump right into it. And so what you see on screen is a map of DC and also um, the park, a park slayer added. So what we're going to do is pretend, for the, at least this first part, that um, we know exactly where in one of these parks, specifically the Washington Monument Park, Monument Park, which I'm going to zoom in on, which is right here. Um, we're going to pretend that we know exactly where uh, the Washington Monument is located um, on the on these grounds here in the center. So in this uh, park here. Um, so what we're going to do is just add a new feature to the park slayer that we already have created. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top and click on the edit menu and then we're going to click on add feature and because we have the parks layer selected in the layer stack what we're going to do is add a new essentially a new row to our data um, that contain information about where specifically on the map um, the Washington Monument is located so we're going to say that we know that the Washington Monument is right here and so what I'm going to do now you see as I hold down the option button on the keyboard that a little plus sign comes up to the bottom right of the of the crosshairs and what that means is that I can now add my points to my polygon is what I'm going to create because the park slayer is a polygon so I'm adding a new polygon feature to the park slayer that is already a polygon feature so I'm holding down the option button and I'm going to click four times and then just hit enter and so now you see in the middle of the Washington Monument grounds we have a new square that indicates where the Washington Monument is actually located. Now that might not be as accurate as it could be. Um, to really um, geo-reference that, that box correctly we could add a, a live map underneath and actually trace exactly where the Washington Monument is located. But for example's sake um, I just kind of added the feature just to show you how to do it. Um, now what I want to show you is down below we have all of the data for our parks in Washington DC. If you pull the scroll bar on the right all the way to the bottom you see we have a new row added with ID number 546 here at the bottom that doesn't have any information. Um, and that is because that is the new feature that we've just added. And you can see up on the map that it, the feature that we created is not highlighted. So if I choose another one it's now not selected. Click back on it now it is selected again. And see what we can do now is add information to this point so we have location I can double click in there and type in the name that we just created and then now we have the Washington Monument as our location um, and then and actually here it would look like it would have been address or where it is um, here I might add Washington Monument again but the point is is that you can once you create your new feature, you can directly edit it right in the database or, or the uh, table data for your spatial information. Uh, we could also add columns. So we have a polygon. So if we go up to tools, and these are tools that I showed you in a previous screencast, we could add an area column. We could add a length column we could add a centroid coordinate column and basically what we're doing is we now have all of this information area length center center x center y for our new feature that we've created and also we've added that information for all the other features okay so that's adding a feature to an already constructed uh, polygon layer now what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new feature all on our own so we're going to keep with the same example about the Washington Monument, only now we're going to add a, a new point level piece of information to our, to our map set here. So what I'm going to do, there's two ways you can create a new layer. If you look down here in the bottom left, there's a plus and minus sign. and You can click the plus sign and now we have a new layer added and we can edit it. The other way is to go to layer and then um, at the top it says new layer, which also creates a new layer. Either way, it does the same thing. And then to remove a layer you can click the minus sign and that will remove one 
So now we have this new layer here, um, and it, it's not defined yet. So it's just a new blank piece of paper that we get to add whatever we want to. So we're going to highlight that layer in the layer stack. We're going to come up to edit, and we're going to click add feature. Now, instead of just directly editing the feature like we did before with the parks layer, now we get to choose what type of feature this layer will be. So we can choose point line or polygon. So for our example, we're going to choose point. So just click on that now it kind of it goes into edit mode and it allows us to add our point wherever we want on our map so we want to put a point right in the middle of that box that we created that we said represented the Washington Monument so we're going to hold down the option button go right in the middle and we're going to click and then just hit enter and now we should have a, a new layer point and I need to put the new point on top because it's a point and there it is now you can see we have uh, a new point right in the middle of that polygon that we created that we said was the Washington Monument. Now if we click on the, the new layer we can see we have a, an empty screen here to or an empty uh, database to add information to. So what we can do is we can click on layer and add column and now we can start adding information about this. Um, another nice thing we can do another one of those tools that I've already shown you is we can add coordinate columns so now we have the X and Y information for our Washington Monument point. Um, let's see what else we can add. We could add distance to nearest feature if we wanted to. Um, this, we don't have another feature on our map right now that would we really want to know the distance from. But if we did, um, we could easily create it. Uh, that's editing features in Cartographica version 1.2. Thank you for listening.